Hello from Slovenia again. Um, I will do another flower, reverse flower dip with bubble wrap. Uh, and today I have 16 by 12 inch canvas. And I have this canvas board here because I will press the um, bubble wrap that I will lift on that too to create two paintings and uh, today I'm kind of looking for puppies puppy flower po puppy puppy it's <laughs> muck in Slovene muck so I have some reds blacks and greens and gold and for my background I have my pearl white mixture and my paints are mixed with uh, Elmer's Glue All Pouring Medium uh, that is 60% Elmer's Glue All to 40% water and I mix them one to one with my paints and my base as I said is my pearl white mixture that it's Vallejo Pearl Medium mixed with pearl, Vallejo Pearl Medium mixed with Titanium White in one to one ratio and then add pouring medium and water to consistency and my base is a little thinner than other colors and I will just tear this excess paint off but I will tear it on this uh, board because I need some base on that board too to create up not the best orientation or how can I say for the other Okay, and I will just spread this here on the board just to wet it down, cover it, just to have some paint on. Okay, and now my uh, Gloves are already messy, so I will just do the sides too because I will not till that. So, any excess paint you can add back to your cup. No, kind of. weird today okay so a quick torch first for the air bubbles because with glue pouring medium normally it's the best to let them sit for a day but you can get rid of the air bubbles with the torch too or you can use the heat gun, whatever you have, will work. Oop. Okay, so first I will add some kind of greenery around. This is Chrome Oxide Green by Pebeo. And I will just go like you know in stripes like that just and maybe more a little more here okay and this is olive green light by Amsterdam <clears throat> and I think that I will add a little 
black on the background too. Just force up, up. I don't know, maybe just a few of them. Just like that. Okay, and now to the flowers. Uh, I don't know how to draw. So I will just try to, I don't know, imagine how the poppies look. How can I say? Okay, look. Now I will remove these bottles a little bit and grab my bubble wrap and I will press with the bumps down. So I will fold it like that. So I can do this, you know, nicely. Try not to get air bubbles underneath, air pockets, I should say. Okie doke. Press a little bit. I hope that I didn't add too much paint for kind of poppies. That those blooms will not be too big. I think that I have an air pocket here. And I will lift it from top to bottom and then transfer it to another one. So let's see.
Wow! Love it! So let's see how this one will look like. Definitely it will be more impressive, impressionistic looking because there is not so much paint like it is on the first canvas but it still can look nice hopefully. But I love this one! The air bubbles. There is quite a lot of air bubbles, but I love it. They are abstract poppies, so I'm not quite sure if I like this. But I can always touch up with um, with the brush later. Just don't want to over torch this, so I will just pop some of those bubbles. Yeah, you get quite a lot of air bubbles with this technique. See how this one will look like. Definitely way different, but different is not necessarily bad. <laughs> on this second one. I don't know why. Just they're just constantly popping through. So here is the dry result of my poppy painting. I will say that I like it. I definitely want to try this on the black background because I don't know, <laughs> just want to. Um, maybe just, you know, a square canvas with some Poppies, I don't know. I will definitely try again, not with pearl white, and see how it will look like. I'm kind of happy with the shape of the flowers and the composition. So, good for somebody who doesn't know how to draw. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one. Bye.